folks, JD here, and I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes looking at the auto colour settings and auto video settings of the Hubs and Zeno. So this particular footage that you're looking at here is after one of the flights in the field using the Hubs and Zeno. This is the standard video output from the SD card raw footage. I have not adjusted it in any way. This is the exact quality and the exact colour that you're going to get from the Xeno directly recording onto the SD card. Now the SD card I used is a 64 gig class 10 SanDisk Ultra so I can ensure that I have very high write speeds so I don't have any frame skipping and I don't lose any quality out there from the video. What I was absolutely astounded with is just how good this video looks. Now it is recording in native 4K, all other balances are set to auto, so I haven't tried to lighten up anything or darken anything, I haven't altered aperture settings or ISO, it is quite literally exactly just set to auto. Now when I flew this around at the time I couldn't really see a lot from my little phone screen but obviously when I had a little look at reviewing the footage after the flight I did notice that the greens were very green. They actually looked as if there was some proper colour behind it. All the other little patches of green inside the grass, because grass is obviously not, not one colour, they stood out as well. Now the trees, as you can see here, looking over multiple levels of trees, you have got some greens, some uh, some whites, some greys, and they're all coming across very, very nicely. As I move and as I pan the camera around, you'll notice now very soon, directly here, that is where the sun is currently, is, is currently uh, sat in the sky. But because it's quite a misty day, its sun hasn't burnt through the mist properly, and therefore we ha we're not having that full sun exposure. As that goes, we're not seeing a lot of darkening on the footage. I'm really quite happy with that. At this particular stage, I'm really happy with what I have from the Xeno as an auto setting. What I would like to see is when I start to play with these settings, how this photo, how sorry, how this video actually adjusts itself. Now, one thing I would, I was look on the lookout for, and one thing that hasn't happened is as you look at extreme intense light, the lens can't cope with that much light hitting it, and therefore darkens all of the all of the footage. I didn't experience that here. As we turn around, you'll notice the image starts to darken slightly, but it really doesn't detract that much from the initial image. If anything, it enhances the colour of the, the grass and darkens the underside of the trees ever so slightly. But again, the image is very viewable, it's very passable, I think the footage actually looks quite good. Now in the coming weeks I am going to be tweaking these little audio, these little um, video settings to see exactly what we can make this camera do. But to be honest, right at the very start, I'm very happy with how this looks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you a bit more footage from this flight. And you can let me know in the comments exactly what you think. Are you happy with this kind of colour? This is, would you want to touch this up in any way? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. All right then, my friends. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.